Let's try 2015 AMC 12A problem 9. When I just glance at this problem, I see marble. So I'm thinking of probability. And of course, we have a probability question for number 9 of AMC 12. Let's see how it is. A box contains two red marble. So you have two reds, two green marble. So you have two greens and two yellow marble. So you, oh, that's orange. That's not yellow. Let's make it yellow. So maybe, maybe it's hard for you to see, so I'll outline it black. So you have two yellow, two green, two red. What's going to happen to this box? Carol comes up and takes two away from the box at random. And then Claudia comes up, takes two away at random, and Cheryl takes the last two away. What is the probability that the Cheryl, the last person that's taking the marbles away, gets two of the same color? Well. You have six marble, you're going to take away four of them before she gets up and she's only going to have two left. So she's not going to have any choice. The Cheryl is not going to have any choice which marbles to take because there's only six marble and you only have six, you're going to take away all six of them. So what's going to happen? Let's say Carol comes up and takes away the first two and Claudia comes up and takes away these two. Then Cheryl is going to have two yellow, which is good. You want her to take two of the same color. And the same reasoning can happen with um, Carol taking two greens and Claudia taking two yellow. That's going to be good. And another reasoning would be yeah, uh, uh, Carol taking two yellow and Claudia taking two green. So what we have just figured out, if Carol and Claudia takes away all of this marble, all of this marble, then Cheryl is going to have two left for her to take. So we want Carol and Claudia to take away four marbles such that the two left has the same color. Okay, that's interesting. But what if she, they do not do that? What if they do not take away four marble of two colors each? Like what's going to happen? If Carol takes away this one and this one, and Claudia takes away, let's say, these two. So we are having it 1, 2, 1, 2, 2. And one can be red, one can be green, one can be yellow. You're just distributing it. You're taking one away from something, one away from something, two away from something. In that case, there is no way. There is no possible way Cheryl is going to have two marbles of the same color. So what we are trying to find, basically, is the probability that you are going to take away two, two, uh, two of some color, two of some color one, and two of some color two before Cheryl comes up. So this is the probability that we wish to find. And we can pick the two colors that we want. There's three colors, but we want to pick two of them. That's three choose two. And what are we going to do with it? Well, out of out of those four, let's say you're picking, you, let's say you're picking uh, red and green. You're going to give two of those to the first person, two of those to second person. So you want a way to divide this into two groups, and the same thing as choosing two away. Every time you take two away, you're picking a group or combination. So we want to multiply by four choose two, and what do we divide by? Well, the first person is going to come up, and there's six marble. And she's going to pick two of them. Second person is going to come up. Now there's four left to choose. She's going to pick two of them. So all we want to evaluate is this thing. Four choose twos cancel out. Three choose two is same thing as three choose one or three. Six choose two is same thing as six choose two is six times five over two, also known as 15. So our answer simplifies to one fifth. And our answer for this question is C.